This is completely normal. The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop, and I was sucking on a dry, dead arm. It was euphoric. But I've... I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? Calm down. Just tell me who you are. What just happened? It's not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. Okay. You're a bestial. A bloodlusted horror show. Mm, I don't want to throw her off here. A real monster would have left some blood in him. Just calm down. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped. Trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. My name is Lily. Okay, good. You're the one E told me about. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I just do. What do you know about Thin Blood? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A Thin Blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider Thin Bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a Thin Blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E, but I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should actually go and see E, because he said he forgives you and he wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? Not that I know of. I'll go see him. Thank you. Wait a sec. Uh, you got anything for I me? I don't have anything to give. Come on, Lily. Okay, bye. Well, all in a day's work. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? <laughs> oh, God. There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. Oh, no more. So sorry. Uh, okay, let's try. Ah. Uh, what incident? Nothing happened back there. I was just buying blood. Are you sure there's nothing I could do that would change your mind? Start breathing, you corpse. <laughs> I already fell for that act once, and that's how I came to end up here. Her blood frees me and binds me. I'm eternally hers. Slave to the bitch goddess. Hmm. Well, how about I just command you to do it? Right. A transaction. Green for red. Interested? Yes, I'd like to make a withdrawal. Let's see. We've got blue blood. Or we've got regular blood. Um, let's buy a let's buy a blue blood. I don't need that crap blood that he keeps trying to give me. Are we good? Here again? What's the matter? Can't bring yourself to tear into the neck of some quote unquote innocent? All that blood out there, and you have to buy the prepackaged stuff. That's okay. I understand. I forgive you. What are you implying exactly? All that power, and you don't even use it. Seems wasteful. Shameful. All these sheep. All these happy-go-lucky nine-to-five tools walking around oblivious. If one or two or three or four of them go missing, the flock grazes on. See, the thing is, is I don't have to be an asshole to feed. Survival? Since when has survival had nothing to do with murder? Murder is what mankind and your kind do best. Can you look me in the eyes and tell me you've never killed anyone? How about it, Saint? Yes or no? I've killed. Absolutely. To survive. My point exactly. Those that kill survive. Yeah, but it's the not a necessity. The soldier that kills the other soldier first lives. The nation that kills the most enemies wins the war. It's the natural order of life. You are a predator. I respect that. I envy you. Okay, well, have fun in the cage. 
We're good. Okay, Lily's case solved. I'm gonna go. I, well, let's see what uh, what our log says. But it'd be kind of cool to go touch base with E. Let's see. You should go talk to E. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Uh, out to the beach. Should probably be out there. Actually, would not surprise me in the least. Okay, second street or beach? Uh, the beach, please. There she is. Wait, is that her? Oh yeah, that's her already. Right. Uh, evening. Know anything about the murder on the pier, bro? M mur murder? No, no. I, I, I wasn't here when it happened. Okay. You have any of those items you mentioned? Uh. Why don't you give me the money now? And I will bring the money later. No, here's a steak. How about a hundred bucks? Yeah, here you go. Uh, now where can I find the head vampire? Uh, he's in the tallest building downtown. His name is Lacroix. Uh, yeah. You won't have to live like this anymore. Whoa! I'm going to kill the head vampire. Really? Okay. Uh, that could be a problem. I don't think he's gonna do very well. Uh, we'll see. Brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep her We're safe. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the Jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Hmm. What do you mean by Jack comes out of the box? All right. Hi. Hope this life's been hard on him, both here. of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there as long as we're together. Oh, that's so nice. You guys make a great airport paperback. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's pretty funny uh okay now let's see let's see the bum witnessed the revenge i think i gotta go to i gotta go see lacroix now who might be dead we'll see though if uh what was it it was uh the security guard what was his name did something goofy because of high schools, like Officer Chubb or something like that. It wasn't Chubb, but something about him being slightly overweight. Where's my taxi? It'd be cool if you could just take the bus. It's probably cheaper. All oh, right, the taxi's in front of Asylum-ish. Going somewhere? Absolute. Okay, now, um, where is... This is LaCroix's place, I think. The sheriff's prime job is to be the prince's enforcer. 
Did you see anybody come in here? Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Chunk, that's oh, what Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to wow. lick you all over. Keep it to yourself. I'm way down to your creamy center and... What the... Get your hands off my barbarian cream. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, hello. Uh, I imagine he's at the night house. Whoa. This is gonna be awkward. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? This is correct. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Well... Uh... Mercurio did screw up and I had to do everything myself. That's true. Oh? Then I'll see that he's suitably oh punished. <laughs> Nonetheless... What was I expecting? You triumphed. My commendations. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? The thing is, I don't really like you. Um, <laughs> so the only reason I would do it is to get closer to you so that I could ultimately destroy you. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. We have heard that, have actually. Heard uh, who did we hear about that from? The Elizabeth Dane. Oh, I've, we've heard that. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, okay. I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. So... The occurrences on the dam were not supernatural. That's what you want to know? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Okay. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So, be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse... You cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Sounds fair-ish. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. <laughs> the man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Nothing. How... Uncharacteristic of them. He knows I'm lying. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're <laughs> prepared to leave for the Dane. Um, I guess I can go straight there. But I do have some questions for you. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Yes. It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy... I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. 
In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. So you get around. We share the same blood, you and I. I knew it. Without the Ventru, the organization of the Camarilla would have dissipated long ago. Did you make us all and look And the bad? other clans would have turned to each other's throats over petty land grabs. That is the burden we must bear. Oh, yeah. It's a tough life being rich. Yes. Beckett. You've met Beckett? I sure have. Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. And he's like a shapeshifter, I think, not a, not a werewolf, which was my initial impression. Yes. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a <laughs> calamity is attributed to his latest luck. Uh, sounds about right. Yes. What about this guy standing behind you, this giant rock-looking figure? He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Okay. Yes. Something Which else, is... actually. Don't be so annoyed. Just chill your balls. Camarilla, go. In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction, the Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kindred society. Okay. Which is... What can you tell me about the Sabbat? Every night you wake up, be thankful you are not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Yeah, don't think I enjoy them. Yes. Which is... Uh, what about this, more about this sarcophagus? Like, why is it so weird? All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. There could be nothing but dust inside. However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact. Or even a mummy. Sounds All of these cool. evidence of the supernatural, and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. Don't let anyone tell you differently. I'll believe what I want to believe? How about that? Which is... Um... I'll come back later. I can't stress the urgency of this task enough. I get it. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Let's see... Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, I want to go back to Nines and see if we can tell him about this. And just be like... Whoa. Okay. This would be really great, actually, if we could say, like, Hey, by the way, ran into LaCroix? Douche, yes. But also, here's what he wants me to do. What are your thoughts? We do have to run to the other side of the city, but hopefully it's worth it. I could probably feed along the way if I see anybody. This place has a fair number of, like, fair-blooded people, I would say. It's also got a shit ton of bums. See, this guy, this fancy pants is always walking around here. Sorry. Ah, oh, god damn. But I got the whole city shouting in my ear. We'll go, Jack. Hey, hey, what's the word on the streets? Here we go. Uh, let's just dig first. Why? Planning on visiting? Well, maybe. The prince wants me to go there. Oh, really? Uh, this is gonna be bad. Jack, what's going on? The sarcophagus. 
Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? He sure did. Um. Well, he t he didn't tell me. I mean, he told me some. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Why? The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. Okay, so he's been, like, sleeping? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. So... You take out, like, the whole city or what? It's more than that, you know. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end. It's the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna. Gehenna. And the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Gehenna is like the apocalypse. Okay. Is this like a real thing? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. Hmm. I wonder if it's true. Well, kiddo, I guess you're going to be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> uh... Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Okay, we're good. What's on your mind? What's up? I'm out of here. Okay, well, that's interesting. So the prince wants you to investigate the Elizabeth Dane. You need to go to the beach in Santa Monica where a boat will be waiting to take you out to the ship. You are to examine the Ankaran sarcophagus, find out what the police have discovered, and take the cargo manifest for the ship. And above all, try not to go on a killing spree. Okay. So it's going to be similar to the warehouse. Um, but I don't know if we're going to have to be... Like, it sounds like there's going to be police there. So I'm going to have to talk to them and try to probably persuade them. I have a whole bunch of... Let's see here. I could probably seduce a bunch of policemen. <laughs> um, Hagel, I don't really care about. Persuasion could also be good. I like, I like being a hot vampire, though. Let's do it. We'll seduce all of these... All of these policemen into telling me what's going on. Hopefully. That's the game plan. it well can't get any worse damn it so look we've lost one I've gained some back at different points so I'm not terribly concerned like meaning that I could probably gain some of it some more of it back but that guy's gonna lose his shit Okay, LaCroix. I'm ready. Oh, do I have to, like, ask him to go up every time? I bet I do. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Huh? Did you? Huh? Cover me, Tubbs! <laughs> <laughs> this guy. What about all these other places? Oh, I can't. I only have access. Okay. Uh, 